I saw a picture on uh, Drake's IG story last night, right? <gasps> Wait, hold on. Before yeah. I just want to say if, mm-hmm. to to the listeners, listen to this because Alex also called that what will Pluto do by Drake was all about future. He called this like months ago. Yeah. Now he's gonna go into another theory. Yeah. Let us listen. Ooh. Now I could be completely wrong, but I'm just gonna speak as a fan once again. Again, I was on Drake's IG story last night, and he posted a picture of himself in what seems to be a studio setting, right? It looks like there's an engineer working on a laptop or, or a producer working on beats. And, it, and right directly in front of him is a shirt covering a mic. Now, why is this shirt so important? The shirt had a picture of Vibes Cartel and Vibes Cartel first album. Okay. Okay. Well, like, I know you guys are probably like, okay, who the fuck gives a fuck about that? Like, free the world boss. Those of you who are fans of Oz Cartel, you know, he's trying to fight for his freedom as we speak. But just like y'all, I was like, uh, whatever. Click to the next story. Mm-hmm. <laughs> as I'm watching the next story, I had this inclination, like, now nah, let me go back like, to why that did he shit. Post yeah, that, like, <laughs> during, during war? You be doing the science. I be trying to OD. on some music That's why I'm shit. trying to listen because I'm like, he, he's be probably going to be right. Like. I, I'm, listen, I could be wrong. Leave uh, it in the comments. I'm just telling you what I know, right? Alex, the, the rap whisperer. The rap whisperer. Hey, what up, y'all? <laughs> so I go back to the story and I start to think. I'm like, hmm. One of the first times I was introduced to Vibes Cartel was on a Bounty Killer song. Okay. The song is called Girls Like Mine. Song was intro- was uh, released in 2001. Mm-hmm. Um, why is that important? Vibes Cartel ended up being an artist under Bounty Killer's label, The Alliance. Shortly after that, Movado, and this is for all my dance, dance hall, hall. This is yeah. literally just dance hall legends. This is so some. Like- if you are a dance hall fan, you are very aware of the beef between Gaza Empire and the Gully Side. All right, Gully Side being Movado, and of course Gaza being uh, Vibes Cartel. So again, after Vibes became a part of the Alliance, Movado shortly joined the Alliance. Now, fast forward a little bit, Vibes Cartel ended up leaving the Alliance and got into a beef with Movado and the Gully Side. Now, Vibes Cartel left and created Gaza. Gaza is comprised of who might y'all know? Popcon. Mm-hmm. Popcon is an extension of Gaza, right? So again, not to get you guys lost, Vibes Cartel left the alliance who had Movado on the roster. And after uh, Vibes left, he created Gaza. Movado created the gully side, right? Now, again, after he left, Vibes was very disgruntled with members of the alliance. Some of those members were Sirani, um, Oh my God! Busy, busy signal. Okay. And of course, um, my dog Bounty Killer. For those of you who are not familiar with Bounty Killer, Bounty Killer is the same Bounty Killer that did the verses with Beanie Man mm-hmm. back when you know verses was, really, was still a thing and popping. Yeah. So again, Beanie Man, uh, Bounty Killer, these are staples in the dance hall culture. Mm-hmm. Cool. I hope you guys are still with me. So as I'm looking at the IG pick, I'm like, I see a mic. Why would he purposely put Vibes Cartel album from when he was under the Alliance on the mic? So I go, you know what? Whoa. Okay, cool. Whatever. After Vibes leaves the Alliance, he drops a plethora of diss tracks. Mm. Two, I could, two I could think of at the top of my mind. I'm going to get you out of tracks in a second. I'm just forgetting. I listen to a lot of dancehall music. I post it all the time. You follow me on Instagram. <laughs> so I love this shit. Mm-hmm. Like I love all of that vibe. You feel me? So I was thinking to myself, I'm like, man, Drake really is a fan of cultural events, right? Mm-hmm. Like he's, he's the that. one that, that bought the, um, the uh, Pharrell jewelry yeah. and supposedly melted it down <clears throat> when he was in Mike, The Pusha T Mike. He's a fan of the culture. He's like, a fan of culture. Of culture. Yeah, 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 hip hop, of, of all of genuinely, it. Genuinely, like, yeah. In Toronto, like it, you said, it goes back to dance hall and his right. influence in Jamaica. And like, he's a fan of, of culture. Exactly, right. So for me, as a fan, on back to back, I remember Drake saying, I waited five days, nigga, where y'all at? I can't bump an AR rap. Which made me think, all right, cool. If you get into some beef with somebody, 
I know you're on tour right now, but I don't, you don't strike me as a person that necessarily wants to wait a long ass time to respond to, you know, who you're dealing with. Mm -hmm. Which led me now to this conclusion, right? Gully and Gaza are still at beef, still at odds. What made me think about that entire situation between what happened between Movado and Vibes is <clears throat> people, powerhouses who were formerly really close, no longer, who no longer get along. And I thought to myself, I'm like, could Drake kind of be throwing that type of hint on the IG story right now? It's just so random. Like the mm -hmm. vibes album from 2003. This is this isn't even the same day that uh uh they announced that Vibes Cartel has been released or is, is trying to get a full release. Mm -hmm. This is some weeks after that. Like if I would have seen this the same day all of that news came out, I would have been like, all right, cool, he's just supporting vibes, free the world boss. Mm -hmm. For him to do it while he's in a studio. While the shirt of the album is on the mic, and while the engineer looks to be queuing up something, mm -hmm. that shit really stood out to me. So he's basically making a cultural reference, I like think he very is. low key, and people like Alex, he's gonna be like, "Oh, if you know, you know. If you know what I'm saying, yeah, you know." Right. Like, and then if you don't get it, you just. And again, I could be wrong, right? Wait, so is it like, yeah? Okay, so now it's a long-standing beef between them. Gully side and is Gaza. he referencing like, oh, this is just where we're gonna be at? Like, we're just gonna be in a cold war for a long time, or no? Think about how Vibes Cartel left the Alliance, right? With all people who were prominent in music, mm -hmm. who are popular at what they do, who are highly uh. uh uh sought out at what they do, leaving the pack. So in in your see what I'm getting at. In, in in your comparison, yeah, Drake will be vibes cartel leaving the pack, leaving the pack, and going the pack at odds. Will be Future, Metro, right. Rick Ross, and all the people on the that lunch. seem to not fuck with Drake. Right, I could be completely wrong, yo, but it was twelve a.m. in the morning, and I was like, "Fuck it!" <laughs> like, 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 I don't know. My mom was wandering, and I, I could be wrong. I don't know. I'm just a fan of dancehall music for sure, and. If you if you are Gaza and Gully is very much still a thing. <laughs> Usain Bolt will tell you. Don't yeah. play none of that Gully shit. Yeah. <laughs> so, but we know we know yeah. Drake. Drake. That's how Drake likes to play, right? Like mm -hmm. Drake doesn't like to. He he speaks in if you know you know. Yeah. Right. Like that's some of the reasons why he's had some of these sparrings with other rappers because he's talking exactly to them. Yeah. And we just singing it in the club. We have no idea yeah. who he's this is or what the <laughs> fuck he's talking fuck about. So we do. But it's like, I right, bet this shit is fire. <laughs> and now the artist is like, wait, yeah. hold up, I'm tight. So anybody like yourself who yeah. looked at that story, like when I seen it, mm -hmm. I'm just like, all right, mm -hmm. Drake, he's doing it's his cool. thing. He's on tours in the studios, yeah. Bob's Cartel. I know he fucks with the dance hall culture. Like, right. so I'm not looking at it any different. Like, oh mm -hmm. wait, this nigga's trying to be a culture vulture or this is weird. Like, nah, mm -hmm. that's on brand for him to show love to all different types, especially vibes, yes, right? Like yes. he's been very vocal for his support in that space. So yeah. to me, it wasn't weird at all. And I don't think it was weird to you. I think it's just you being a student yeah. and having that third eye. I was like, I bet. Let me let me look at this a little bit different. Right. And I, you are OVO. I, I'm I'm not. No, you you I am? you a fan no, of OVO. I'm a fan of everybody though. But when I met you, it was OVO. It probably was at that point right, in my that's life. All right, that's at that point in my life, I probably, I probably am still. Be, I like all these niggas, yeah, yeah, but yeah. I do like when niggas cut up all that buddy buddy shit, Fact. right? And this is also coming off the heels of I don't know if you guys heard uh, heard about this in the past week. BFB the Pac Man. <gasps> oh my god! <coughs> right. <coughs> Mm -hmm. I know what you're going to say. Like they were, they were about to have music released together. Exactly. And Drake, then Drake said, "Stop." Drake was featured I'm about on. To fucking do some shit. D d that's what. That's okay. What... Sorry, I just skipped over the details because I got excited. Okay, no, Alex, you're fine. Now Alex will explain. Sorry. You hit it right on the head, girl. Nah, okay. you're right. BFB was about to drop the album, and he did put out the album, but he was mm -hmm. promoting it with uh, Rio and Drake on the same song. Mm -hmm. So again, if you like, you know, her music, street music, you fucking Rio. Rio's Detroit. Shout to Rio. He locked though. Mm -hmm. Did his verse over the phone. And we've seen Drake link up with the and real street niggas. And people were expecting this Drake feature to drop. Exactly. So, but then it didn't. It didn't, yeah. So the night of the release, BFB was just talking about how he didn't have possession of the album anymore. Mm -hmm. So he didn't know where it was or how it was going to come out when the album released. The Drake feature that was promoted was not on the album. And it shouldn't be. It's, yeah, right. Because it's probably, it's probably it's not time for that. Yeah, 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 he's, yeah he's going yeah. quiet. He's it's going not quiet time for that. until right. the big diss. Yeah. And it was probably an older verse where he yeah. didn't get to, yeah. you yeah. know, no, come not, at uh, all the new beef. It's not time for that. Yeah. Everybody so. would have definitely uh, chopped that up and 
expected him to like talk about. Yeah, exactly. When it Even was, if it was yeah, all yeah, verse. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It, you don't deserve the verse that I'm about to give you. Yeah. yeah. You know, like, no, for, you don't deserve it for two reasons. One, because right. if I do diss somebody on it, now you get all that attention. And if I don't, now people are going to be like, wait, he's ducking the smoke. So yeah. you don't even deserve that verse in yeah. no regard if I'm Drake. So Dang, right. that, that kind of makes sense. Fucked up. Like, BFB, that was such a big look for him. It was, and he's an independent artist. Yeah. That would, that would imagine. As an independent artist getting a Drake yeah, nah, feature. He, he could spin the block. Come back Yo, I mean, he could. Yeah, because at the end he of the day, that nah, verse still nah. like, exists, you know? Drake don't he need could. to do nothing with anybody independent right now. Not no, right, not, not right the now, time. but like, this is not the in, time. A, in a few months, it's, I feel it, like BFP does deserve that. When things die down, he does. Also, he does. also, fun fact, guys, this is very, very random. Um, yeah. Go watch the BFP, the Pac Man <laughs> music video, Reggie's Honey Pack. I'm in that shit. <laughs> Reggie's in it. Yeah, yeah, no music. Yes. I'm in Times Square, Time like Square. in like, like in the whip, like just yeah. like. Yeah, please video go watch Vixen. it. Yes. I, I was just thinking. What the about. fuck? We talented uh, over here. Since when? We talented over here, bro. Um, I lived many, many lives before this podcast. <laughs> Holy Yo, shit! Yo, Sevan was just telling me yeah. before the podcast. He's like, I don't know you before the podcast. Like, yeah, I want to see single Reggie. I'm like, she was very fun. <laughs> I was in, I was in music video yeah. and shit. I see. It was, it was I very fun. See. But I do think uh, Drake is gonna write a response. Also, to add to that. Uh, Vibes Cartel and Movado story, both sides both said some very disparaging things about each other. Yeah. Yeah. Movado spoke about um, Vibes bleaching his skin. Mm-hmm. Vibes spoke about. Oh, like how a he, real beef. Yeah. Like, vibes yeah. spoke about how he allegedly had sexual relations with Movado's mother. Like it got, it got muddy. Oh, mm-hmm. like Biggie Tupac, like. It got muddy. Okay. So again, if he is referencing that, if he's a, a nerd like myself, then. So the this is coming. Maybe. If, if your yeah. theory is right, it's coming. Maybe. I think I it's coming. It, yeah. I want it. I want to hear the Drake this. I really want it. Last week when we had Eden, who voted that he wasn't going to respond? You? Eden said he wasn't. Eden said he wasn't. Eden said he wasn't. We all said he was. Yeah. I was like, he has to. Like Kendrick, okay. this dude, right. he right. has to. Right. Like, right. yeah. I, I know for a fact. I believe in my heart of hearts. He has no choice. But because again, going mm-hmm. back to him being a student, like Drake is hip hop. I know a lot of people yeah, have that <laughs> debate. Drake is hip hop. And yeah. out of these three, he's the most battle tested. Mm-hmm. I feel like a lot of people have sure. said it, but it's the truth. He's so. easily the I most. So. E- out of these three, out of these three. Out of, these, yes. out of this whole big okay, three, he's okay. easily okay, the most. He's been in like five beefs. Like, no pause. I get it. But if we keep it at 100, and I don't, I don't want to take away from it, he was the. Wasn't he the better artist in each one of those scenarios? Like clearly the better. So it wasn't like a wow. real duel, right? Like wasn't he the definitive artist? Like isn't bigger he the def- artist? Yeah. yeah, right. Like yeah. it's a whole nother ball game. We dealing with your real peers. I feel nah, but- common. Common wasn't like come on. Stay scheming. We got you off on stay scheming. You out of here. But when LeBron James Me- go plays the Trailblazers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What that mean? Like, are we just in the same arena? We sometimes only, they low manage. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, sometimes I don't, they show up. Nah, that, I don't. I think he's still because even though the artists that he went against maybe not as popular, we've at, we've at least seen it. They are yeah. true. They are real MCs. First off, nobody's gonna sure. look at Meek Mill. Or Pusha Pusha. T Pusha, as right. weak opponents when it comes to a battle. And no, Joe and right? Joe Budden. <laughs> I, I can't forget Joe. I had to do it. All, all forty uh, tracks. Can't all forget. 40, yeah, can't yeah. forget Joe. So he, he's had some formidable. <laughs> yeah. He had formidable. Like opponents. real opponents. Yeah, 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 he's had some formidable. Okay, that's fair. He's I'll definitely battle. But this one's I'll gonna be I'll like pro- if he does respond like the best one. But, but this one is interesting because he's going to get people who does the same thing that he does, which is make hits. Yeah, like Ooh. Travis Scott. If he decides to shoot at Travis Scott, that's that's a little difficult. That's a little that's that's tricky. I, I would say I don't know if it's difficult. That's tricky. Kendrick Lamar, obviously, future. Like, however he decides to go about it, yeah. this isn't gonna be. Let's just put out the best sixteen. Let me give you my 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 best two six thirty two. But like, yeah. it's not just about the bars or the cadence or the beat. Like, you have to actually have a full package if you're going against the people that he seems to be going against. 